Let's take a look at the gauge cluster in the new Toyota Tacoma because it is completely different. First of all, we need to go ahead and start the truck up. That's easy. Just push the uh, new, to me at least, TRD engine start button. And you can see what pops up on the screen for me, and this is how I have it set, uh, is the, I guess, sportier mode. They have names for all of these, but... You know, I don't pay much attention to that. It's what it looks like. So we're gonna go ahead, you can change this uh, by actually uh, switching the drive mode, if that's something you wanna do, it just rotates. It's on drive mode right now, and you know that because it's lit up. If I wanted it on tow haul, I'd push the tow haul button and you can see it's lit up tow haul there, and then shows tow haul on the screen. Something we'll test later, by the way. But let's go back to drive mode. And right now it says adaptive cruise mode. Not sure how to get rid of that, actually. But I'm going to go ahead and rotate this button, or knob, and it should change to sport, uh, which you can see right there. It gives you a red screen, kind of shows you the truck, and then it goes to the screen uh, that we were just on. Next up, we're gonna go to, let's see, we're gonna go down to, uh, I'm not sure which one this is, normal mode. You can see it on the right. That's what the screen looks like in normal mode. A little bit different. We don't have the red uh, highlighting that we had. Now we're gonna go down to eco, and you can see kind of a, a green tinge to the uh, screen, if you will. Um, doesn't look all that much different though, honestly. Let's go back to sport because that's where I've been driving it. There's that red background. That's how you know you've got it where you want it to be, right? Now, it does disappear uh, learning as we go here. So it does look uh, relatively similar, I suppose. Now, let's see what we can go through. Uh, I'm going to push the uh, buttons here on the, on the, uh, steering wheel let's go ahead and we're going to arrow down i'm primarily going to use this okay button here so if we go down uh, we have hold okay to change settings so we have driving support which i don't really want actually that says this i might actually use adaptive cruise i'm going to hit okay and it doesn't look like it changes it fuel economy oh something else uh, we can have pop up in the center of the screen to the right there you see we're getting 16.4 miles per gallon right now uh, if i arrow over again we can change to uh, coolant and uh, looks like uh, temperature levels there i'm gonna arrow again and we can show the pitch and awe, I guess, of the truck, the way that it's sitting right now. And you can see on the left there, we're at a little bit of an angle. Do it again, and we're back to fuel economy. Now, let's scroll down. It says hold to change. So, I'm going to go to the other side where it says I-Force. We have the turbo gauge, which is where we were. And then we can go to different things to show on that side if we want to. Uh, there's nothing else that I want to have over there other than what it has, but arrowing through, you can see fuel economy, eco indicator, driving support, navigation, audio, uh, drive info, a couple of trip meters, tire pressure, which I like. I'm going to turn that on. Uh, and then traction monitor. Don't really care much about that. Pitch and roll, uh, trailer mode, auxiliary gauges, engine transmission, uh, and oil temperature, turbo gauge, uh, and then back to fuel economy. So we're going to just uh, hit the back arrow and we're going to leave it on the turbo gauge, which is what we have right now. Going back over to the other side, I'm going to hold this button down again. I'm going to arrow back over here and I'm going to leave it. Let's see. Uh, what do we want to have here? Uh, I think I'm just going to leave it at fuel economy because for now I'm interested to see uh, where we're at. Now, let's go back, bring up that screen. It says adaptive cruise. I don't really care about that. Settings, let's see what we have here. 
Oh yes, we have all of the nanny stuff, uh, none of which I really like, but I'll leave a little bit of that stuff on. Uh, let's see, vehicle settings, meter settings. Let's check vehicle settings. We have brake suggestion, uh, DRCC, uh, trailer settings, trailer light check, uh, alert, I guess for when the tailgate is down, I like having that. Uh, TW or TPWS, that's a tire pressure warning system. Scheduled maintenance, oil maintenance, uh, auto stop. Uh, can't stand that, but unfortunately, uh, you can't get rid of it. You can have it set at standard or extended. I certainly don't want it to be extended. We'll leave it alone. Rear seat reminder I have turned off because I don't have anybody I'm going to leave in the truck. Stop lights display. Not exactly sure what that means. It shows off uh, in the meter display. We'll leave that the way it is. Now, meter settings. Let's check that out. We have language, units, meter type. Let's check that out. Ah, this is where you can change the gauge cluster independent from when you do it with the drive mode over here. So we could go to, I guess this is probably a more digital kind of look, I guess. Puts the uh, information in the center. And then we can go to this one, which uh, doesn't seem to change much. I think I actually like it better here on the bottom. So we're going to leave that alone. I like this screen uh, out of all of them, I think. Meter style. Let's see what that's about. Ah, this is where we can change the style. We're in sporty. We can go to tough. That's what tough looks like. We can go to smart. Uh, eh, that's not so bad, I guess. And then casual. Just casual. Uh, back to sporty. I'm going to leave mine on sport. Let's go back. Moving on down, we have fuel economy, drive info items, trip A items, blah, blah, blah. Let's go back. I'm gonna go back again. We're at settings, messages, blank, driving support. Let's take a look and see what that's about. Oops, we lost it. Where did it go? Adaptive cruise mode. I really need to figure out how to get rid of that. I don't want that on, but it seems to stay on no matter what. Uh, press and hold, let's see, number two. Settings, number three. This just gives us more information as we scroll through uh, some of the things that we've already seen. Um, and that's about it. If I just leave this this way, that's the way that I like it to be with the miles per hour in the center in sport mode. We have the tachometer on the left as well as the pressure uh, for the turbo. We have the engine temperature on the right. We have, uh, looks like uh, the speedometer, I'm guessing. Yes, as well as the, or in addition to the uh, digital readout here, we also have a, an analog-ish type readout there, I guess. Fuel gauge down here and then some more information at the bottom as well as temperature, speed limit in the area. That is a subscription feature. That will go away once the subscription ends, the trial, because I won't be renewing it. And then up here, we have the time as well. That looks to be uh, pretty much it. Uh, running through the gauge clusters. Obviously, I need to get a bit more familiar with it, but that just gives you, a, I guess, a general idea of some of the different things that you can do. Uh, with this new gauge cluster in the Toyota Tacoma. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Too confusing? Probably at first, uh, but it should be a lot of fun down the road. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.